Hey guys, this is a cool Python 2 question that I got. So the question is, what will happen to software written in Python 2 after the support for it ends? So you may have heard about this, uh, Python 2, the support for Python 2 is gonna end eventually, and uh, Python 3 is gonna be the supported version of the language moving forward. And this is gonna create an interesting situation for existing software that has been written in Python 2. So a couple of thoughts on uh, on this question or on this, this phase out of Python 2 that's starting to happen. Um, I think what we're gonna see here is that many projects, if possible, are gonna be migrated over to Python 3. So this is gonna create opportunities for people who can offer that as a service, right? Like if if you're this is kind of a sidetrack, but if you're if you're a freelance developer and you want to kind of pick a niche for yourself and you want to be um, be seen as an expert in a specific niche, this is maybe something you could start your your freelancing career on. You know, if you can offer this as a service where you can help people migrate existing Python two projects to Python three, this could be a really great opportunity for you over the next couple of years. Anyway. So, um, but essentially, I think that's what's going to happen, right? We're either going to have to migrate these projects and update them to Python 3. And if that doesn't happen, then these projects are just going to limp along kind of on life support. Uh, there's going to be no future bug fixes and updates for Python 2. I'm sure there will be sort of unofficial fixes if or even official fixes if there's something really really big um that, like a security issue or something that that needs to be fixed in the inter interpreter or in the in the standard library um but i think essentially these are the two options and again if you know we've seen that in the past with uh, languages like COBOL, for example that aren't really officially supported anymore. I mean, I'm sure there's vendors that offer support for their COBOL environment still because there's huge, a huge amount of software written in COBOL still that, that some, uh, you know, giant corporations like banks need to do their business. And so again, those are kind of limping along and there are some highly paid people who still have the skills to maintain these projects. Um, I, to be honest, I don't think we're going to see anything... Um, crazy or as intense like that with Python because it's a much smaller leap to go from Python 2 to Python 3. But uh, maybe we're, we're going to see it on a smaller scale, right? Where if somebody is, is really skilled at Python 2, maybe they can make a, a great career out of supporting these Python 2 applications indefinitely. So again, something to think about. Like I'm trying to frame this also as an opportunity and not only as something negative because, well, we're going to have to do something with, with that existing software. So, you know, again, this is just happening every once in a while in, in this uh, field that we're all in, in the software development industry, that older technology gets phased out and we either need to upgrade or somebody needs to support these existing systems. And, um, well, it creates a lot of trouble. It also creates a lot of opportunities for developers, to be honest. So yeah, just some thoughts here, my perspective on this on this topic. If you'd like your own Python question answered in one of my videos, then just leave a comment below and be sure to click the like and subscribe button on this video.